Hi everyone. Many of you asked for encoder and we added it recently. It will be part of M4 firmware and of course that will require some reorganization on Arduino shield board. But even on the existing revision there is a connector where you can put encoder unfortunately just one without switch but that can be easily fixed with the hack as shown on this picture. I use that connector to plug in encoder and on this enclosure there is a, a no hole for knob so I will just use this as some temporary solution. When encoder is enabled in firmware it will work together with uh, existing touchscreen functionality and primary goal is to use it to change numeric values. That is of course output values, what we can see here or in some other view, here or here. When encoder is enabled you can see that one of the output values will be highlighted like this and that means that you can start to change that value right away. Sorry for bad positioning but you can see that we can change value directly If you want to go to some of the existing tree entry mode using a touch screen, you just need to click once again. We are here, all three it's available still, to change value in any of them. I can go here once again or I can go like this. and so on. You can also see what will happen if we exceed maximum power limit. For example I'll just try to go much higher with this uh, like this okay and here I can it's a hundred watt and I can here go directly with encoder and say good and now it's a, we already exceed that power limit and there is no possibility to to increase it anymore I didn't use switch on the encoder and it doesn't work right now and we added in encoder settings a possibility to define what switch action will be. Uh, this is just preliminary and your input, your comments, it's highly welcomed. I can show you what is currently possible. So here in the system settings page 2 there is a new encoder page. We have a switch action and moving up speed and moving down speed. So for switch action it's not used, it can be used for confirm input value, new input value or to, se to select next value. We can first start with selection and next value to see what does it mean. So each click you can go like this. So here I can change channel 1 voltage current, channel 2, voltage and so on. So this is a selection. Another possibility is confirmation. That means that you first need to set your desired new value and click will confirm that. I can go here and set that to uh, let's say 
20 volts and now we see that is on 20 volts I can go up once again and now it's up or I can go down and finally we have that possibility to adjust moving up or moving down speed speed it's from 1 to 10 1 it's the lowest 10 is the highest and with that we can go let's say you can see how I, I will go with two extreme so you will see that I need a lots of turn to go up but for down I can go very rapidly this is all about encoder in this moment and please let us know what you think about current encoder implementation goodbye